Just Jocks Golf. What is up, everyone? Uh, welcome to the episode of the Just Jacks uh, Golf Podcast. Uh, today, I want to check in and do my two cents on Tony Finau. Um, for me, one of the most likable players on tour, one of the best quality players on tour, um, and one of the most frustrating players on tour. Um, let's be honest, I think that's 39, um, top 10 since his last win in the 2016 uh, Puerto Rico Open, and he went very close again at the Genesis Invitational just this week gone, which is why I want to discuss him in some more depth. Um, what's going wrong? Or is anything going wrong? Is this just a case of him bashing at the door until it comes down? Or is there something fundamentally flawed with Tony Finau's golf game uh, or approach mentally? Now, I think the first thing to consider is that, for what it's worth, he played excellent on Sunday. He shot a 64. Uh, he led the field in putting, I think. Um, his iron play was tremendous. Um, he did what he had to to put himself in the right position. Having said that, you know, he was coming from a position with not much scrutiny and or pressure because he wasn't expected to contend when you look at the, the players above him in the leaderboard and the amount of shots he had to, he had to make up. Um, so there's, there's two sides of that coin. For me, Finau is an exceptionally good player, but he hasn't quite found that winning knack. And for me, it's a mental thing. It's a mental approach. Um, and it always comes down to his, to his Sunday putting performance. And if you look at his, if you look at his stats, um, I'm just bringing that up now. Um, you know, strokes gained putting, he's 82nd on tour, which is for him um, not good at all when you consider his, when you consider his sort of uh, his stature in the game. You know, just to put into, conspar- uh, into comparison, he's 23rd strokes gained off the tee, 10th approach to the green. Um, he's 36th around the green, okay, not great. Um, you know, strokes gained tee to green, he's 5th. You know, strokes gained totally 6th. So he's, he's a fucking elite player, and that's why he's been managed, you know, he's managed to rack up so many um, good finishes. But he's 82nd in his putting. Um, and I don't know the stats for the Sunday performances, but nearly always he doesn't put with enough pace on the Sundays. Um, so look, I mean, k- kudos to him. He, he, he's a very likable guy. He, uh, he interviews very well. I was very impressed with how he handled himself after losing to Max. Um, yesterday's Genesis, ugh, there just seems to be something missing. For me, I think it's a matter of time. I think he will eventually, having put himself in the same position over and over again, eventually learn the knack to winning. But for me, it comes down to his putting performance on the Sunday. He needs to take more risks, more direct lines, less lagging putting, more putting with speed. Um, you know, I, I feel like a weird bag of shit, quite frankly, uh, when I'm talking about other players' ability to win, because what the fuck do I know? I know nothing about winning on the PJ Tour. Having said that, I think it's evident for everyone to see that there's a gap there, right, between his ability and his results. Um, just to put his results in perspective for everyone, uh, because it's absolutely disgusting, he's played nine events this year on tour, um, he's had two seconds, five top five, five top tens, seven top twenty fives. He's made every single cut, taking home over two and a half million dollars in price points, which puts him sixth in the FedEx Cup, FedEx Cup standings. Which, for not winning, is it's fucking impressive. And let's just look at last year since his U.S. Open last year. Look at his finishes: tied eighth, eleventh, twenty fourth, thirty eighth, eighth, fifth, thirty first, fourth, second, second. Like. The, the man's elite. Um, I love his golf swing. Um, I love his demeanor. Um, but Tony, we need to get that flat stick working on the Sunday and, you know, try and convert some of these 54-hole performances. Um, maybe when you've got less ground to make up. Like, the, you, your mistake this week wasn't anything that you did. wasn't the playoff. Yeah, you missed it. Missed a shot you need to on that par three. But if that happens, it was giving yourself that much, I guess, uh, to catch up on. Because um, if you didn't, you would have won. But having said that, <laughs> if you had less of a gap, would you have, you know, would you have approached it with the same mentality that you did, uh, being so far back? These are the questions that remain unanswered with Tony Finau. One thing is to be said, though, I think everyone in the golfing world is rooting for him. Um, like I've mentioned multiple times already, he's an excellent person, uh, extremely humble, love his sort of like Hawaiian um, origins. Um, he's, you know, worked his way through the mini tours. He's done it the hard way. He's 31 now. Um, so he, he's done things the hard way, Tony Fee, and I was really earned the position he's got. I just want to see him make that next that next step, right, from nice family Tony Fee now to, to Tony Fee now the winner. 
I think that's his third playoff loss, for example. Um, no doubt all this adversity will lead to something successful, um, you know, hopefully this season. Um, but you've got to think it must be weighing on him. Uh, hopefully not. Guess we will see. Um, there's my two cents on Tony Finau. People, if you really enjoy uh, this podcast, if you enjoy us speaking with progressive, unique, um, and interesting brands, course, and people in the game of golf to help and make, make it more relatable, please do like, uh, share, subscribe. I fucking hate asking that, but in order to grow the podcast, that's what needs to be done. Um, let me know in the comments section on YouTube uh, or Instagram your thoughts on this podcast. I'd love to interact with you all. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.